everyone and today I have a holiday gift guide and this is homemade holiday gift guide I already had another holiday gift guide up and you guys can go check that out I'll leave the link below and this video is talking about the homemade holiday gifts that you could give people this year for Christmas and I literally have so much stuff here um, that it was really hard to like find just the basic stuff I really wanted to show but I have a lot of stuff here so I hope that one of these things or all of them can give you some really great ideas on things to get and give. The first thing would be hair accessories and hair accessories are a really great way to give somebody a gift and they're a pretty easy thing to get. So the first hair accessory I have would be just a plain red headband. What I did with the red headband was I just sewed this tiny little heart and then stuffed it with some like uh, polyfill or whatever it's called and then I sewed it up and it's really cute it has like a little patch on it so it's maybe like a little broken heart or whatever and then I hot glued it onto the headband so it looks just like this and it's really really cute I think this is a really great idea and it looks like this in your hair it's really adorable and I think this would be a really great gift idea for some the next two hair accessories are things that I'm pretty well known for, which is making hair accessories, and I've showed a hair accessory video before, like my collection of um, hair accessories that I've homemade myself, and so I have two different really great options here. The first one you could do is just get a little bobby pin and glue it to a little um, thing that you've sewed. This one is like a little uh, candy taffy. I think it's adorable. I just sewed around it. It's really cute. You can get these um, little hair clips right here, like this orange one I'm showing you, at Walmart, and they're really affordable, they're like one or two dollars or something, or one fifty for like ten or twelve or whatever. I don't know. You get a ton of colors, so it's a really great deal. And then I glued on this adorable little penguin that I sewed myself as well. And if you want to see my hair accessory collection video on um, the things that I made then I'll leave a link down below for that too because I think you guys should really go check those out and they're totally like really great and I hope I can inspire you. This penguin would be a perfect example of like a little holiday theme thing and you could give it as a stocking stuffer or you know put it in like a little envelope and have it attached to you know like the main gift you're giving somebody so these are really great ideas. Now the first thing would be a jewelry item and a lot of my stuff consists of sewing because when I think of homemade, I really like to do like little sewing projects. I think they're really fun and I really like to get artsy and creative with them. So I have this really cute little charm hanging off my necklace chain and I don't know if you guys can tell but this is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. It's really cute. Um, I sewed it. I. It's really cute. I sewed it and then I put what I did for her cheeks was take the end of a paintbrush with some paint pink and give her some nice little cheeks and then I sewed it up and I also stuffed it because it's kind of a uh, puffy style and then what I did was take just this old chain that I had and sewed on a little um, chain link thing so it can hook onto the necklace and it makes a really adorable necklace and I think about anybody would love like a cute little sewn on thing like this on a necklace I think it's pretty adorable um, I haven't worn this yet, but I'm waiting to, like, the perfect little outfit. I want, like, a little Alice in Wonderland themed shirt or something. I think it'd be cute. So I think this would be really great for anybody you know that likes, um, you know, like, little things like this would be really fun. All you have to do is get a chain, or if you already have a chain, then just sew the little item on there, and it's really cute. The next thing I have really goes with the sewing theme. It's this tiny little crocodile thing, and you're probably wondering what it is, and I'll open it up and show you guys inside little needles and this is a little like needle holder so you just insert the little needles in the felt this is all entirely made out of felt um you can find a pattern on the internet like this kind of shape and or you can just kind of make it up yourself i just kind of found a pattern and kind of did it from there and then you need like a little red piece of felt almost in the same shape for the crocodile tongue and then you take a piece of white and then you kind of take like a rick rack scissor all around it so it looks like the teeth and it's really cute and then you just get some pom-poms and you can buy them at craft stores googly eyes sewn here and little sequins for his nose and it makes an adorable little needle holder and i think this is so adorable the next thing i have is this little cute pouch 
And I sewed this myself at this course. Um, all the things I'm showing you are hand sewn by me. And because I just love sewing. And so what this is, is a really cute little holder. And it could be really great for either a small cell phone or an MP3 player. And I have a little MP3 player, so I just sewed this little pouch to keep my MP3 player nice and protected inside. And I think it's really cute. And it's, I think this is really unique compared to like the other MP3 player holders you'll find, like the ones for iPods or whatever, you know, stuff like that. So I think this is a really awesome idea. And all they did was take some felt, put it together, so little design, and I have the little Pac-Man game. Um, really cute idea. I also made a Pac-Man style one, um, a bigger one for my brother's um, MP3 player too. A nice little case like this I think would be just a really great, nice, fun idea. The next thing I have would be just this tiny little trinket box. And it used to be like a little mini jewelry box or something. I don't really know what came in it to begin with. But all I did was take some paint and paint the whole box. Um, I painted the whole entire inside of the box as well. If you wanted to, you could get some kind of cute little cloth or fabric and glue it inside and make it all nice and decorative. You could put like a cute little note in here like I'm really glad you're friends or or if you have like a tiny gift you could give it to somebody and put it inside. Right now I just have like an antique penny. But and on the top of your box you could find a nice little stick or something that represents like how you feel about that person or something they really like. I have like a little dress sticker. It's like one of these 3D ones. It's really adorable. And you can just put that on the top of the box. You could also take some like little sequins or something and just glue them all around it. You could totally jewel out and um, you could totally jewel out the outside of the box, make it really cute, you know. You could paint it and then take like a little picture of maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend and you could just like kind of glue it on here, like a picture of you and your boyfriend or girlfriend together or something. And you could totally like just glue it on here and that would be really cute too and then write a nice little love note inside. It would be a really great idea as well. The thing I have to show you would be ornaments and making a homemade ornament for somebody I think is just a really wonderful idea. And they can take that personalized item and just put it on their Christmas tree and it'll bring them joy because they know that you homemade it. And I think it's a lot more special than just buying them one from the store. The first one I have is just this really cute little elf, and I came with this idea myself. Uh, I took some like little wires. Um, you can buy these like little wire things. They're not really like real wires, but they're these like little kind of tiny little wire things. And so the body's kind of like bendy, so you can bend his legs and everything. And then I just cut out this little body out of felt, little felt body shapes, glued them together got a little wooden bead for the little elf head here and then I made some cute little tiny little elf ears so he's got little pointy ears made him a little hat and I glued on this string so he can hang on a tree and he's got a really cute little face I think this is just too cute I gave um, a bunch of people I know last year like I gave them uh, they got one of these I made like a bunch of them for like a ton of people I know and they really thought it was a great thing and it's really special to somebody they know that you took the time to make them something instead of just picking something out at the store. So I think it's really nice and personalized. The last and final ornament I have is this one. And all I did was sew together um, this pattern that I made myself. I just kind of traced like a stocking pattern. You can get these about any place. Just find like a little nice stocking pattern. And I got some really nice holiday themed uh, fabric. Sewed it together and stuffed it myself. And then I put some cotton balls around the side so it has like the nice little fur trimming. And then put a like little bow that I made out of string. And then it can hang out by the same fabric that I used for the stocking. And I think this is so cute. You could like leave the top open and make it into like a itty bitty stocking for somebody. And so that would be really cute and you could buy itty bitty like little things to go inside like little stocking stuffers. So that would be a super fun idea as well. Now if you know anybody who loves snowmen, then this would be like the perfect thing to give them, I think. And these are these tiny little snowmen, and they're just like a little decorative item and you just kind of set them, um, you know, on a table or whatever. You could also put a string in them if you wanted to hang them up on the tree. But all I did was just kind of cut out some circles out of felt, and then I stuffed each one 
and put it and like glued it on top of each other. I gave them like tiny little wire arms. This one has an adorable little hat and I just kind of rolled up some felt here. And he has like um, beads for the buttons and the eyes on his face. And a really cool thing about this is the nose on the little snowman is actually the end of like a, a orange colored pencil that like broke off. So uh, all I did was just take an old orange colored pencil and I used like a really crummy pencil sharpener and it broke off and I'm like, oh, this would be perfect for the snowman nose. So this is such a cute, fun idea. I love these. I gave a couple to some people last year too and they loved them. They thought they were so cute. I think they are like too adorable. Um, I sort of came up with this idea myself because I found uh, a really cute pattern on the internet how to make like a little stuffed pumpkin and I thought well if you can make a pumpkin why not make like a snowman so I made some little snowmen and they are just so adorable my cat even liked this she was playing with it so I had to get it back from her but um, they are just too too cute like seriously these are adorable so if you know anybody who loves snowmen then this would be a great idea for them the things I have made out of foam would be this little foam flower thing and you could buy these in like a ton of packs they have them at Walmart any craft store um, a bunch of different foam packs that you can buy and you just um, you know stick the little foamies all over the place and you can also buy the ones where you can put like a picture inside which is what this one is and then you can buy little um, magnetic strips so they can just kind of hang on your fridge or whatever and this would be such a cute idea like if you're um younger and you want to get something really cute and personalized like for your grandma or something then you can put a picture of yourself behind here and then decorate it and your grandma could put it on her fridge and I think that would be really fun like you know every time she looks at her fridge there's a picture of you in a cute little fun design you can buy winter themed ones obviously this one is not winter themed but I think that'd be a really great idea and it's pretty affordable too like it's not that costly it's under like ten dollars so go check those out if you're interested would be just this nice little foam trinket box and this is all basically made out of popsicle sticks so you can buy the popsicle sticks at the store I wouldn't recommend like eating a ton of boxes of popsicles just so you can have popsicle sticks I would just go and buy the popsicle sticks because they're not that expensive and then all you have to do is just um glue all the popsicle sticks together in some kind of form of a box or whatever you're making you probably could make like a heart but you can make like a triangle or box or something like that and then when the glue is dry on the popsicle sticks all you have to do is just paint all the outside as much as you possibly can um, I painted the inside too yeah because I'm really crafty like that but I also really thought it'd be fun to paint the inside so I did that as well and then on the back I took some of those great foam shapes and just put a ton on there because I thought it'd be really neat and then the lid for the box is just really simple a ton of popsicle sticks and then two on this side and this is really cute and I took a ton of those great craft foam shapes again and stuck them all over my box in whatever kind of design that I wanted this one has like a little chicken a egg maze but I just thought they'd be a really great idea and then you know you can make it so the lid will be secure um you could find a way to like maybe have the lid secure but if you don't want the lid to be secured you don't have to and then you can put some really great stuff inside um to whoever you're giving the gift to and i think it'd be really nice and it would be a scrapbook a scrapbook is a fantastic way to show somebody that you care about them and you can do like your family vacation this is like family or summer getaway and basically all I did was I purchased this nice little scrapbook um, with blank pages inside and it came with a couple stickers and cutouts I got it at Target for like two dollars and I'm like that's such a great deal so I put a picture of myself behind there and this is a nice little so this would just be a really really great idea I think for somebody it's super personalized just find a ton of great pictures where you have really great memories with that person or persons or whoever you're giving it to you and they're really going to appreciate something like this because they know you took a lot of time and thought into it and it's just really nice and a really great idea. The last idea that I have would be to make a tiny little box and you can find like a box shaped pattern um, on the internet or you know in a book or something like that 
and then you just kind of fold it together and this one has like a heart at the top and it's in like this holiday um, paper style pattern and then you can get a tiny cute little miniature bow and I think these are adorable these are like my favorite Christmas bows of like all time these tiny little bows they're so cute you can buy them in like a nice little pack now inside you can just add tiny little things that are personal to you and that special someone and you can add little items that make you think of that person or things that you share together a couple examples would be like uh, a lifesaver because you're just a lifesaver in my life kind of thing cute like that another thing you could do is add like um, I have a band-aid here and a band-aid could be like for the rough times in my life you know you were really like there for me you know like band-aids I also have a Hershey kiss like you know like if it's something like you were giving this to like your boyfriend or something you'd be like well you know like here's a kiss for you you know cute stuff like that just really fun like things like that would be a really great um fun thing to do and it's really like fun and you could have like silly things in there um you could even add like a battery and be like you know you give me the energy I need I don't know just really nice little stuff like that or you could put a little note in there and it's a cute little present idea hope you guys enjoy this keep watching more more videos and just comment below and tell me what you think have a great day bye I said she's my belladonna lily bloom next to me Extend your petals to create your wings But when you fly away It's safe to follow cause you pollinate the way That leads me home